Is your lip suddenly swollen? Welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget and in today's video, I will be discussing some common causes of lip swelling. Without further ado, let's get started. The first common cause of lip swelling is usually an allergic reaction. It could be an allergy to certain types of food. So eggs, milk, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, wheat, soy. Medications could also cause your lips to swell. Medications such as penicillin, lisinopril. It's important that if you notice that you are having an allergic reaction after you ate a certain food or after you took a certain medication that you stop the food where you do not eat that food anymore. And if it's a medication, it's important that you call your healthcare provider and you let them know. The reason why you need to stop taking the medication is because the allergic reaction could potentially get worse with each exposure. So that's why, you know, it could be lip swelling and then the next time you, you are exposed to that product or that medication, your throat could be closing up. So it's important that you notify your healthcare provider, you stop immediately. Materials such as cosmetics also can cause allergic reactions. So the brand called the Evolution of Smooth, that brand gives me an allergic reaction on my lips, believe it or not. When I put that on, like my lips started to tingle, swell. I can't use certain cosmetics. So if you're using certain cosmetics, it can also give you lip swelling if you're allergic to them. Of course, insect bites, right? If you were bitten by a mosquito, that can also cause your lip to swell. If you were bitten in that area. It's important to know that if you have shortness of breath or tightening of the throat, to so call 911 or your local emergency number. That's very important. There's no cure for food allergies, but you can prevent allergic reactions by avoiding the things that you are allergic to. If you're having a mild allergic reaction, you could always take diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl. Again, this channel is purely educational. This is not me giving you medical advice. I have to say that as my disclaimer. So if you're having a severe reaction, please do not take Benadryl for that. You need to call your emergency, local emergency number or 911 if you're in the United States. If it's a mild allergy, you're not having your throat is not closing up, you're not having chest tightness, then by all means, you can take diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl, as long as you don't have an allergy to Benadryl. Another reason for lip swelling, it could be oral allergy syndrome. And oral allergy syndrome is caused by minor reactions to some fruits and vegetables. A contact allergy only affects that part of the mouth that the allergen has touched. For me, I think I deleted all the pictures, but I had an allergic reaction to the sap of a mango. It burns this whole side of my face for like a week. It was really bad and my lips swelled and it was like dark and then it peeled and it finally went away. Thankfully, it didn't scar. Another cause of lip swelling that is rare, it's something called angioedema. Again, technically that's just an allergy to a medication. Sometimes, although rare, it will occur with a blood pressure medication called lisinopril. Again, you would stop the medication. If you were having angioedema, you could also develop like an itchy rash or hives. Pimples near the lip can cause lip swelling, right? If you pop the pimple, it's gonna make it worse. It's gonna make it swell even more. So if you have a pimple in that area, you can put a cold compress, not ice directly to the skin because you'll actually make it worse, but a cool or a cold compress. Don't pop the pimple, go wear a mask. You know, right now with COVID, people can wear masks. Um, but in the future, once COVID passes and people are no longer wearing a mask, don't pop it because it's gonna make the swelling even worse. You know, I've been there, I had a pimple, like I think like here once, and again, my lip was like huge too. So I know it's uncomfortable, it's embarrassing. There's also a skin infection that um, can cause your lips to swell. It's called cellulitis, an infection of the skin. So if you feel like you may have an infection, then of course, see your healthcare provider to see if you may need some antibiotics. Cold sores can also cause your lips to swell. Cold sores are caused by the herpes simplex virus. There's HSV1, HSV2. HSV1 was usually associated with oral cold sores, right? With oral herpes and HSV2 was associated with general herpes. Now there has been some crossing over, although rare, for example, herpes one does prefer to be in the oral area and not the genital area, but you know, people do things and it does t cross over. So if you have a cold sore, if you get like 
a tingling sensation on your lips, tingling, a little bit of burning. You could be developing a cold sore. There's a medication here in the States called Abriva. It's an over-the-counter medication. You could take that as soon as, if you know that it's a cold sore, as soon as the cold sore starts to develop to help shorten the duration of the outbreak and also to help pr prevent uh, you transmitting it from somebody. But of course, don't share utensils if you feel it. Once you feel that tingling, don't kiss, don't share utensils because you can give it to someone else. Of course, if someone punches you or you hit yourself, any trauma or lip injury, lip biting can cause your lip to swell. If you, if you bite down hard, right, getting hit, Again, you can pull a cold compress on your lip. An infection of the gum or mouth can cause your lips to swell. Let's say you have an infection in the gum here and it's just causing a, like the whole area to be puffy. That would require, if you, if you feel like it's your gum or your tooth, then you would need to go to a dentist here in the States. Uh, if you go see a healthcare provider, we can give you a short course of antibiotics until you can get in to see your dentist to kind of keep the infection at bay. But if it's a dental issue or a gum issue, you probably should go see your dentist. Sunburn can also cause your lip to swell. You know, I wanted to include this. It's a very rare condition. I would say 99.999999% of you out there do not have this condition. So please do not think that you have this condition, but there's a rare condition called melkerson rosenthal syndrome that causes lip swelling in the lips and the face. Um, as well as some muscle paralysis, but it's very rare. So treatments for lip swelling, what can you do? You can stop the offending agent. You can apply a cool compress. Don't put ice directly on the lip. This can cause more damage. If it's a cold sore outbreak, use an antiviral cream such as Abriva. Uh, for swollen lips caused by inflammation or injury, so you hit yourself, you got punched in the face, you can take NSAIDs such as ibuprofen. Again, I don't know your past medical history. Most people can take ibuprofen, but if you have like high blood pressure, your stomach is bleeding, your kidneys are failing, that's not something you would wanna take. You could take Tylenol for the pain, which is acetaminophen, but Tylenol is not an anti-inflammatory, so it won't work as well as the ibuprofen. So yeah, with ibuprofen, take with food because of the irritation to the gastric lining. And of course, don't take, like I said, if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure or kidney disease, your kidneys don't work well, don't take ibuprofen. So those are the most common causes of lip swelling. To recap, for mild allergic conditions, you can take diphenhydramine Benadryl. If it's due to injury, you can take an NSAID such as ibuprofen. Drop a comment below if this was helpful. If you found value in this video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Thank you.